Today is the laying of the foundation of the new church, which we call St. Mean and Pope Crawlis' Church. Um, this is a very eventful and meaningful day for us as it marks the, the opportunity for growth for our church as we're a very small church um, located in Penrith, quite far from every other church. We're a very small community, but this means growth basically. In our new church, we'd have um, a community hall a uh, sports hall for the youth, to encourage the youth to come to church more on Friday nights. We have upstairs, we have a church. Um, Abuna will also stay there. We'll have a new ordination of, a, of an English priest, which will hopefully boost up the, uh, the amount of youth that come to our church, because we're a very small church. We don't have that many people coming. Um, the bishop is here to bless the stone. Um, it's a very important day for us, and we're very happy that this is going on. This has been in the planning for quite a, quite a while now. Um, and today it's in the making, so it's a very important day for us. Today we're celebrating the laying of the foundation of the new church for Pope uh, Krolos and St. Mina. Uh, it's going to be a new English church in Penrith. Um, it's going to provide opportunity for all those in the surrounding areas to come and attend English liturgy. It'll give the community some inclusiveness. It'll have opportunity for the new upcoming kids and deacons, um, a new priest for the youth and um, just somewhere that we can all gather together to pray together to God. So today we're basically laying the foundation stone of something that which will be initiating something bigger and greater for the future. So new improved services will be included in this new building and will be laying forth the foundation for the future generations of our church and the improvement of the current services. So one of the aspects of the new, ch the new building will be the new improved services for Sunday school delivery, new classes, new improved uh, technology and new improved furniture also for the children and also we'll be enc encouraging more children to come to Sunday school with the bigger classes and the bigger rooms. We will be able to host more children for the Sunday school lessons and more servants. That way the service is more focused on the children and also on the curriculum that we're forming for the children as well. And we encourage every other church to come and join us for Sunday school and to experience Sunday school at St. Mary and St. Marina Church. Um, we also have other rooms formed for the children and we have, other, we have other services also for the church. And for the new building, there'll be new services for the children after Sunday school as well. And we really encourage those to come and see them as well. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean. Today is Sunday, 14th of April 2019. We are uh, in the Arabic Church of St. Marina, St. Mary and St. Marina Church, Coptic Orthodox Church in Penrith, in Sydney, in New South Wales, in Australia. And by the grace of God, the people, the congregation, and uh, Abuna Monius and all the priests work very hard to get the DA of new church for the future, for the youth, for the kids, for the Sunday school. So we got the DA of the new church and now we choose the builder and by the grace of God we distributed questionnaire for the people about the name of the church and the majority said they need to name the church under the name of Pope 
uh, San Mina, sorry, San Mina, the martyr and Pope Carlos VI. So today we put the foundation stone with the celebration, as you can see, with the uh, love of the people and a joyous day. And this church is going to be for the future church of this, uh, future congregation of this church. Uh, by the way, this area is more than uh, acres, it is acres, not, not, not thousands, but more than acres. And by the grace of God, we are going to start the, the building tomorrow. The building, I think, will take one year or more maximum. But inside the building, we will have new building of church, new Sunday schools for the Sunday school kids. May God bless all the people who labored before us and may the Lord give us the blessing of His Holiness, Pope Tawadros II, and before him, Pope Shinoda, the late Pope Shinoda III, and all the members of the Holy Synod. May God bless them all. Please pray for me, your son, Bishop Daniel of Sydney.